Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skelton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to share a revolutionary AI which will act as a research assistant for your day-to-day -day research related activity. So without wasting any time, let's introduce this AI. This AI called the Google AI Studio. This is one of the revolutionary AI that is available currently at this moment. And the best part is you don't need anyone to help you. The Google AI Studio will help you and guide you about any sort of research related problem, data analysis, coding, or any sort of research or related issues that you need to solve. And right now you want to understand it more clearly. So how it works? Let me share one thing. This is amazing. First of all, let me share one of my research area, meta-analysis. And I have made so many videos about meta-analysis. I hope you would like that video playlist and you will see those video playlists for knowing more meta-analysis. Now, I'm going to not, I'm, today I'm not going to talk about meta-analysis or how it works. Today I'm going to share you how AI will explain things just like I am doing it for you. So let me share. Let's see, I open up the JAPS interface. I have this type of inter tutorial in my previous video where I discuss about JAPS, the software that is used for data analysis. So let me share that one of the JAPS database or data set effectiveness of the BCG vaccine against tuberculosis. And this example JAPS file demonstrates the FX size calculation from the summary statistics final plot analysis, visual exploration, and the results. And a meta regression analysis with forest plot and bubble plot visualization. So let me open up this file for you. And this is going to be much more interesting. When we open up this file, so JEPS is showing me the data set. This is the data set that we're talking about, author list, year, then there are so many variables. and computed effect sizes and all that, okay? So now, if you look at the results, if I go and look at the results, you see this is the FX size computation. And here it says, first to compute FX sizes, standard error from the study summarizes, including the table. We select independent group design, binary measurement, risk ratio FX size to compute the log risk ratio. Now, if you don't understand what is log risk ratio is and what does this FX size summary table shows about computed values, total computed values, and then funnel plot about what is funnel plot and how the funnel plot table works, let me ask the AI to help me. Okay. So what I can do, I would like to go to my AI interface, go to the stream real time click the stream real time and then you will see share your screen click the share your screen and then you click the one that you would like to understand for instance in this case the effectiveness of bcg matrix so i open this one and here there is a nice little uh, op interface coming up so i'm going to ask you the question uh, can you explain what is rix ratio fx size here sure i can help with that risk ratio or rr is a measure of a vaccine's efficacy it compares the risk of developing tuberculosis between vaccinated and unvaccinated groups the r and body effect size is computed to find this measure and it uses a log risk ratio okay i understand the risk ratio why the risk ratio is applying here why not the other effect sizes. Why risk ratio is here? I see. Risk ratio is used here because it is a good measure of the effectiveness of a vaccine. Would you like me to elaborate on why other effect sizes are not used? Yes. Okay, other effect sizes may not be as appropriate for this analysis. Risk ratio is specifically designed to measure the difference in risk between two groups, making it a good choice for comparing vaccinated and unvaccinated people. Other effect sizes might not provide such a direct and easily interpretable measure of vaccine efficacy. Okay, I understand. So can you explain me about this funnel plot? What does the funnel plot mean? Certainly. 
A funnel plot is a visual tool used to check for publication bias or other issues with meta-analysis data. It plots the effect sizes from individual studies against their standard errors. The idea is that studies with smaller standard errors should have a higher precision, and therefore, their effect sizes should be distributed symmetrically around the overall mean effect. The plot helps identify if there is a systematic bias. In the case of publication bias, there tends to be an absence of studies with statistically non-significant results, or results that are opposite to the overall trend. Do you have more questions on the funnel plot, or are you ready to move on to the next topic? Okay, I would like to understand what is meta regression table looks uh, shows here. This table, final plot asymmetry test. Can you explain that table? Of course. This table is the result of a meta regression test for funnel plot asymmetry. This test formally evaluates whether there's a relationship between effect sizes and standard errors, which can indicate bias. The first two columns, estimates and Z, display the test statistic and the p value, which assesses whether the null hypothesis of no asymmetry can be rejected. Here, the p-value is 0.422, which means you cannot reject the null hypothesis. The last three columns provide the limit estimate, along with its 95% confidence interval, a meta-analytic estimate adjusted for the asymmetry. It means they are adjusted in the case of standard error equal to zero. Okay, thank you so much for explaining things. Okay. So we have a fantastic way to un understand what does the meta analysis or meta regression final plot and effect sizes by the Google AI studio. So in like this way, you can ask any question by sharing your screen and ask the Google AI studio that what does it mean, how it works, and what is the effect of this. For any single analysis, whether it is a mathematical analysis, whether it is a statistical analysis, Google AI Studio will help you to understand. But make sure you do not share your confidential information like a PhD thesis outcome and everything before it publishes. Because sometimes it's recorded and AI, I am not sure yet, that AI will record everything for the future, but it is always good to have confidentiality if you can. But the general aspects of any explanation, you can take help from Google, not Google AI Studio. Don't forget to use Google AI Studio, go to the stream real time, share the screen and ask your suitable question and Google AI Studio will answer that properly. So I hope this Revolutionary AI will help you, your academic life, your research life much more smoother and act like a research assistant for free. Thank you so much, my dear learners. I will see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.